What's up, everybody? I'm Evil Rabbit. We are here on Forza Motorsports 7. An update has dropped. The RTRs are here. And real drift head movement is in the game. So I know everybody's doing these first impression videos, so we're here to do it anyways. I'm super excited about this. These RTRs look like they're a lot of fun. And uh, we're going to have a little fun with it today. We do have a proper rim on our wheel now. So we're good to go on that. Hydraulic cam brake and everything's good. We got our gauges and everything mounted up behind it and everything should be completely kosher so let's uh get into this rip this mustang and have a little fun and uh well just uh send it so i decided why not just send it here at maple valley one of my favorite tracks to shred and uh well we're gonna be drifting in first person full uh full commitment full wheel cam everything here today for this update the rtr cars ready to rock looks like this is going to be a blast to drive and uh well hopefully we can do it some justice here today and uh not totally screw us up we are in normal gears today because uh this mustang is not a sequential car so we are just going to go normal gears the car looks sweet but we are here for the first person view we got our gauges and everything working so we're just going to send it See how this works. We left the drift head motion how it sits. Oh, it's probably gonna take a minute to get used to it. But uh, that's so sick to be able to look where we're sliding. Tandem's first person, definitely a huge thing. Ooh. So one thing I am noticing is the feedback has definitely changed a little bit because they did do a little bit of an update on the wheels. So we're going to see how this feels in my wheel settings, how they are. And then we may adjust the head motion as well to better suit our needs. There we go. Kick it. Ooh, let's just tap on the wall. So definitely going to take a minute to get used to the transitioning view and everything now here in Forza, I did get a chance to use an Oculus and that was so much better on a Seto because being able to look where I want to look was the cool thing about it. Now this, I have to judge my look based on the game and where the game wants to look, but there is some fine tuning settings that we can do. But I think out of the box, I think we're good. Just rocking this four gears in this RTR. I'm so glad that they've implemented real head movement. Oh, that's gonna, wow, feedback is strong. Real head movement into the game. Unfortunately, the one thing I wish it would do, which it does not do, is look towards Apex if you weren't sliding. Like, I guess the real head movement of Project Cars where you could, it'll look Apex. That would have been really sweet as if it worked for racing and drifting. But the fact that we can now look around for drifting is probably a little more important with all the drifting and everything coming into these games with the FD cars, the red car. Oh my. So vibration and feedback, definitely a lot more intense in the game. So definitely uh, gonna wanna get some cars Jesus feedback get some other people on here get some tandems do some open lobbies some drift lobbies and stuff like that especially with this new first-person view and rip some of the normal cars that we normally drift around in first person because I can feel like this is gonna make a lot more first-person drift videos because of the fact that we can do full blown on tandems and not judge ourselves based on a little arrow like we were before. Because you would have to judge it based on the arrow we just wrecked. We just wrecked the Mustang. We'd have to judge it on an arrow. Basically, proximity of another car. But now, 
we have, uh, well, legit head motion, and we can dial it better, but it seems to be okay how the game set it up, and, uh, they just need to bring this over to, uh, Horizon, that would be sweet. Oh my! Because you know we're going to head over and drift the mountain. Of course, we will be drifting in third person in uh, the mountain. But we will be shredding this thing in the mountain if we can. Probably take Denofa's car out in the mountains. Do a little mountain tow get run in Denofa's RTR. Oh boy. There we go. Just got to power through the gears. The gear ratio on this car definitely uh, very interesting and not what I'm used to. This car sounds sick. I'm surprised we held that. I am very surprised that we held that. So we're going to try and get this turn here. A little bit so just a quick look at the RTR Mustang in the real head motion now on Forza 7 let's kick that out so I think some fine-tuning in the settings to suit my driving style for the head motion will make this a lot better but it does make first-person drifting much more entertaining and it, it works in both views but I think this you get a better perspective so we're gonna rip it now in this closer view now because it does work in this one too removing the, uh, the wheel from the equation as I'm chattering my wheelbase honestly kind of like in this view you don't get as much of a view though because it's not as far back as it would be with the wheel. But this is definitely an amazing update for the game. And uh, definitely gonna take some getting used to because I've uh, been doing a lot of, I do first person drifting a lot, but the, I'm so used to the static camera that this is kind of uh, messing with my head a little bit. And it's not like an Oculus where I'm able to look where I want to look. I have to judge it based on the game. I mean, it's doing a pretty dang good job of where I feel I would actually be looking. I'd probably be looking a little bit more left and right in certain aspects, but it's still pretty good. And this RTR Mustang is a monster. We're gonna make that. Yup. So, this is definitely gonna make for some insane tandem videos with the TUS guys. With the ESDA around the corner. Am I going to be uh, working more on doing first person drifting in ESDA? Or am I gonna go back to third? What I'm used to for competition like this. Oh, the Mustang does look sick. Not gonna lie. Forza, you can do window stickers. Give us window stickers. Oh my. So, go from first person to third person. I have to quickly adapt and think for a second. Just a little quick third person action in this uh, Vaughn getting car before we switch over and uh, see if we can rip the mountains. hold that <laughs> I think it's a good time to switch it up just a quick uh, quick take and uh, well let's switch it up so we switched it up to Chelsea Denofa's car and Dubai so we're gonna rip this car and uh, well see how Denofa's car runs 
should run very similar to Vaughn's. Thought that cover kick in harder than it did. So let me know what you guys think of the real head motion. Do you guys like it? Obviously, I would say if you dislike it, but I don't see why any drifter ever would say that they do not like this real head motion. I just think the one quorum I have with it is it doesn't work on racing. We just wrecked an Opus car. Oh, got reverses the other way. So the force feedback is a little bit more interesting too. Definitely something I got to get used to with this Fantech wheel as well. You have to fine tune some settings. So if you guys are on a Fantech and you have some settings, it's very interesting to try your guys' settings out. So just a little shakedown of the RTRs here for today for you guys. Because I know a lot of people are uh, shaking down these cars and uh, running them. So just wanted to do a quick impressions of it myself. Oh, Tanofa would be very sad right now with the way I am handling his car. Doing my best right now. Trying to get used to this uh, drift head motion. I know it makes drifting easier to see where you're going, but when you're so used to a static in-car camera, change like this real quick. It takes a minute to adapt, but once you adapt, like I think we have, we're good to go. Don't hit the wall. Get this out there. It's easy on the throttle, nice casual drift. A little low power drift there. Still sideways though. So I'm in the fourth. Just a wall tap. Nothing major. Nothing but a thing. I feel like to know if this car is used to getting the taillights smacked out with running the walls. The force feedback is very strong, so definitely gonna have to do some uh, some settings changes here, but definitely getting this now. Oh yeah, we're good. We got it. Look at that, nice and smooth. Definitely liking how this is feeling. So make sure you guys follow me on Instagram and Twitter. All of which are found in the description box below and then the camera centers back. All right, so it is based on the rotation of the car. So that definitely takes some things to getting used to. Make sure you guys follow me on Instagram and Twitter, all of which are found in the description box below. Let me know what you guys think about it. And if you guys want to do some online drift sessions here on Forza 7, with either the RTRs or other Formula D cars on some FD tracks and stuff, let me know down in the comments section down below. Would like to start doing some more uh, open lobby drift sessions with uh, Forza 7 and Horizon. Do have a lot of fun with that, as well as Torque Drift. That is not going anywhere. So as always, I thank you guys for watching. So until next time, I'm Evil Rabbit, and I will see you guys next time. We're on that wall. How did we survive? Finish it off? I wonder what it looks like doing a 360 or trying to. Oh, no, failed. <laughs> I'm out.